It's market day in Hamilton, the capital of Waikato, New Zealand's biggest dairy producing region. Farmers are busy buying and selling calves to prepare for the new season, but a slump in milk prices is hitting them hard. At all New Zealand dairy farmers last year, there were 15% of them made from zero to a profit. So 85% of all dairy farmers last year were losing money. And uh, yeah, if you can lose it quickly, it's hard to make it. So. Brent is one of 10,000 dairy farmers in New Zealand entering a third consecutive year of losses. The, the bigger the scale of the farm, the, uh, the bigger you get. Rule of thumb is every milk solid you produce, um, you lose a dollar. Weaker than expected demand for dairy in China, combined with a surge in global supply, has caused milk prices to halve since early 2014. New Zealand, the world's biggest exporter of dairy products, is at the centre of the global crisis in the industry. Many farms were converted to dairy over the past decade when milk prices were high, while others expanded rapidly. Dairy farmers are now saddled with about 38 billion New Zealand dollars worth of debt. Shane Egan, who emigrated to New Zealand from Ireland 20 years ago, says unlike in Europe, there's no government subsidy system in New Zealand to fall back on. I've lived in both countries and um, the New Zealand farmers see the Irish farmers well as seen as being a bit unfair because they're still getting subsidies and they haven't got quarters. Where in New Zealand, in Ireland, they, um, they reckon that they can't survive without these subsidies. KPMG forecasts 1 in 10 dairy farmers in New Zealand will have to exit the industry and a further 28% will need to radically overhaul their business and attract new capital. Farmers here in Hamilton are cutting costs to the bone, reducing the size of their herds and spending less on feed and fertiliser. But the one thing they all desperately need is a recovery in milk prices. Jamie Smith, Financial Times, Hamilton, New Zealand.